Hello, everybody. How are you? We're back with more Code Veronica. Give me one sec. Sorry, I was talking to the boy. Okay. Turn music off. Oh, I need to bring this onto my fin. Because I'm using a walkthrough. Because I'm not an epic gamer. wasn't doing anything yet anyway, so where to- I don't even know where we left off. This game is insane to me. Um, <laughs> met Steve, found out why he's there, got a glimpse at the Ashford Twins. Um, God, this game is still fucking loud! Why did it turn back on? I'm gonna put it on 75 because even at like 80 it was kind of like bleh. Is my capture losing its shit? I saw that. What are you doing? Let me restart my capture. Let's try that. Stop. I just saw it flipping out on my screen, and it's like, I don't need that. No one needs this. <laughs> Alright. Okay, right where we left off. Go back to the yard for the item box. Go towards the first door and turn. What? Right here? Oh yeah, picking up the herb and going through the door. One day I'll figure out how to play this game. <laughs> oh, I didn't drop off the ink ribbons. It's right there, and this place is cleared out. Let me go do that real quick. Crunching. I got a little snack to munch on. Take the bullets on the table near the door in the glass cabinet. Take the first aid spray. Another first aid spray? Can I... There we go. Find the door and enter it. Prepare for zombies. Okay. Uh, 
wave has to come through. But to be fair, I've done fairly much, and I wanted to. Is there another one in here? Damn, I went from not having enough health items to having a whole bunch of them. Yes, makes it hurt. Yeah, this was definitely that era where they kept asking questions about what you want to do, right? <laughs> Uh, red herb in the corner, take out the other two zombies, explore further. Tell me I have to use the bathroom right this second. I refuse. Oh! President Sneasel code, Ironica. Gaiman, how are you? Gaiman. Yeah, I hit Sanctuary rank 7. Hell yeah. Um, I love my happy little island with my pretty little people. Oh, this turns into a burst gun? That's neat. I had to explain furries further to my father today. <laughs> oh, no, I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, he's like a... He, he's a conundrum because he's kind of a jokester and he knows he doesn't understand stuff. <laughs> But he's still curious about how it works. Yeah. He was shocked to find out, uh... Well... I won't start that. The crowd that attends Free For All exists in the furry fandom. Yeah. And that shocked him. He was like, really? Yeah. In, even in the furry fandom, there are those people? And it's like... Yeah, he's like, well, what was, what, what's their, what's their platform? And I'm like, well, they wanted to make it, they want to bring it back to what being a furry used to mean before it got all this leftist politics involved. And my dad could not stop himself from crying himself into laughter. Oh, no. He just laughed until he started crying. It do me like that. And he's just like, it's people in animal costumes! And I'm like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, this game sometimes, man, just stop! Stop! Let me move! They were busy. And they were, they should, they should have been less busy coding Veronica, they should have been more busy coding the fucking game. Got him. <laughs> Why was that Zombo so fast? I didn't like it. Now I have to use my health items. That's cringe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I rewatched, um... Today I was like, I want to feel sad today, so I rewatched the, um... The Ultima Thule sequence. Oh, yeah. And for some reason... You know what? Of all the things that hit me really hard in Endwalker, honest to god, I think the thing that got me crying most immediately was Orianger talking to Moonbreed's parents. Oh, yeah. That yeah. 
Like the whole like sacrificing whatever thing in Ultima Thule, I more or less knew that they would be okay. Yeah. Because that's just, you know, good business, basically. But um, when it came to Munbrita's parents and Yorianje trying to let, who's, who just spent all that time carrying all that guilt to just finally be told like, dude, we don't blame you. This wasn't your fault. Poor I don't know, something about it like really punched me in the stomach. That scene still gets me. Cause it's because he's just like you know his whole. Ever since then, you look back on his stuff he's done through such a different context. Once you realize, oh, this is something he still carries with him. This is the reason, like making things, making right what he thought he made wrong is like the only thing he lives for anymore. And it's like just seeing and hearing them people who he's like sure blame him for everything are just like, dude. We were just as worried about you, and we know that however much it hurt us, it hurt you just as much. And just seeing that kind of forgiveness and him realizing that it's just okay. That no one blames him for what happened, that really fucking... Like, immediately I started crying. <laughs> yeah, I think whenever... Um... Me, Edry, Pluby, and Silver first went through it. We all, we all cried. Get off of me, bats! I'm trying yeah, to be really, sad. <laughs> I'm, it was really sad. Fucking bats! Ah! I got bit. <laughs> fucking clam! Because yeah, it's stupid uh -oh. fucking clams! You know what? It was even worse in fucking. It was bad in Ocarina. Mm -hmm. It was worse in Majora's. Yeah. Because he actually had a character with a ranged option who was basically built to deal with that enemy. And he just. Poor boy just couldn't do it. <laughs> I'm just over here like, Jesus. Or worst yet, Dampy. Dampe. Mm -hmm. um, when he did for him to not figure out just lock just Z target him. Yeah. That's what they mean by the light of the fairy. Yep. Did he ever actually figure it out or did he just luck his way into succeeding? He I don't remember. His way. Oh my god. Because I'm over there, it's like, use the Z target, that's what it's for, but Aaron just hates the Z targeting so much and 3D Zelda's for that time, and I'm just like, bruh. I just think he thought, the, to be fair, I think the hint for how to guide him was a bit <coughs> vague. Unless yeah. Dampe explicitly said Z target him, I don't think Aaron would have gotten it. I think Tidal eventually says something. Eventually, but he probably wasn't paying attention. Also, it's God, Aaron Hansen. love Game Grumps. <laughs> Big fan, big fan. Aaron, you're stinky. <laughs> you don't know who the fuck I am. Erin hand job. Eagle Raptor. Oh god. The intonation of that ego raptor haunts my mind to this day. <laughs> Just specifically because it's John saying it. Oh yeah. I mm. Nope, nope, nope. Not today. We know. No comment. No comment. <laughs> His videos are funny. The end. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, what is it? Sorry, I feel like anytime I jump into call, I have some I have some controversial shit to rant about. Eh. Oh. What'd you just eat? I had truck smirch. Chex Max? Mm hmm. I thought you said Tex Max for a second there. I'm like, damn. Mm -mm. I want Tex Max, like, right now. Bro, what I want? Um. Chex Max is good and all. They skimp out on the little brown chips. That are, like, I agree. the best part. <laughs> oh, yeah. The little, like, the tiny chunks of garlic bread. Yeah. And. There, oh, I forgot the brand, but it was it was similar to Chex Mix, but it like the seasoning tasted better, and they actually made a whole bag where it was just the brown chips. And like I, 
love you. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Hi, Fifu. Is that spicy the cinnamon? That's my new, that's, that's Spicy's Sonic name. Gardettos, that's what they're called. Garlic rye chips. They're, yeah. There's like a small bag on Amazon for $4. <laughs> I need a giant bag. Do what I did. Just say, fuck it, go on Amazon, order a 12 pack <laughs> of like six ounce bags like I did with pop chips. Uh, I already miss pop chips. <laughs> I ate them all. I'm genuinely tempted to buy them <laughs> again again <laughs> because they're yummy they are yummy and you go decent. crunch crunch and you get serotonin it's simple math and decent for you they're actually not horrendous like your typical potato chip right except yeah that's why i also want to get them because i want it to be a bit guilt i want to do some guilt-free snacking <laughs> but like you know, my my immediate go-to outside of pop chips is kettle cooked jalapeno lays, and those sh yeah. things fucking destroy me. Yeah. I'll eat like a handful and need to take a nap. <laughs> no, I need more ham. I constantly forget that. I need to press X to go down the stairs. Indeed you do, my friend. Indeed you do. Take the rusted sword sticking out of the statue. You mean this one that's flashing? Can I have that? See the lever sticking out of the center statue? You have to push that towards the camera until the gas stops. Gas? Oh! That was only mildly terrifying because it was legit. It's like, why are they talking about gas? And then the door locks and gas activates. It's like, oh! <laughs> Gasolina. Ah! My wrist popped. Damn. If it pops, it's fine. But if it snaps and crackles, you got an issue. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> you good? God damn it. I'm so mad that this game genuinely gets decent scares on me. <laughs> it's never gonna get it's never gonna be as funny as then when someone jump scared Jimmy with the Swedish flag. Oh yeah. Or no, it's it was it the Switzerland flag? I think it was the, the Wait, pink I... one with the white uh, pink one the blue one with the white axe. Shit, now I can't is that remember. is that Switzerland or Sweden? Someone who has access to Google and isn't lazy like me, look it up. I have access to Google, but I'm putting on a show. I am an entertainer or something. I don't know why you'll come here. I think you like my content. <laughs> I don't <laughs> Ah yes. Even though all I do, all I do is but, bitch about Resident Evil dogs and then scream when the stupid 2000s game gets a good t good scare off of me. The the driving force behind <laughs> all internet creative minds, fucking whatever here. <laughs> Watch me play a video game. <laughs> uh, what was the um? What was I remember this one thing from the Sham from Shammy's uh, Elden Ring video where it's like. I'm not going to go in depth on everything in the game because this game took me 180 hours to beat and I've only seen a few of the content. So you're so you're getting a playthrough and some change and you think that's plenty. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what is the sentence in this guide? Return to the palace. Once you get to the courtyard, the dogs shall be gone. <laughs> 
It shall have evaporated, my friend. Stupid bat! Stop! Ooh, I love the new cozy cabin I just crafted. It looks so nice. How's my health? Okay. You know what's the nice thing about uh, Island Sanctuary, though? Yeah. Is that when you get the resources to renovate stuff and make it look different? Yeah. Um, it's instantaneous because it's cosmetic. So you can instantly get the new look instead of having to wait for your facilities or whatever. It's fucking awesome. Eh. I am HO. I actually did not intend for that to happen. Nice. I have all these health items now. <clears throat> Once I get back to the courtyard, fuck. Do you expect me to remember shit from yesterday? Same energy as <laughs> Okay, I know where I am. Oh my god, that's funny. Alright, um That's what I was gonna Google before my dad called me. Uh... No Twitch, shut up. Shut up, Twitch. Shut up. Ah! Not the dogs! No! Get away! I want to give Chester the Otter the biggest, wettest kiss right on his dumb, stupid nose. I mean, otters do have kiss their noses. Why is there so many zombies? Stop! way to the palace? I actually don't remember what was there. I think this was the way. Still feel feels weird experi experiencing a game from February of 2000 like it's brand new 22 years later. That's still, I mean, good for you. Do you have any idea what I would pay to experience Persona 4 Golden completely blind? I had no ch like, I liked the game and its aesthetic so much, so I watched a billion freaking Let's Plays, so yeah. even by the time I got the chance to play it for myself when it finally came out for PC, I still knew pretty- in broad strokes, I knew what was gonna happen. Yeah. But, I like, I'm not, even, I'm not even necessarily mad about that, it's just, like... It, it e what it e. Yeah. The one- the- Game I'm excited to come out is a uh, Persona 3 portable for PC. Greetings. Honestly, you what? must be the lovely Claire Redfield. Oh my God, it's Wesker. Why Let's does he look like I'm this? <laughs> Coming back to haunt your dear Chris. Do you like my sunglasses? Seems there's not much explaining to do, is there? I was the one who attacked this island. Who'd have thought you'd be hanging It's about. like they tried really hard to put texture <laughs> on his outfit. All the better for me. And now that the cat dragged in this nice It just looks surprise. like he You're stuffed his shirt so with tissues to make himself look small. Definitely show up. I must thank you for being such good bait. I don't know what went on between you two, but you have them all wrong. My brother is not the kind of person you think he is. <laughs> I despise I see those eyes. Chris. He, he was already uh, what are you gonna infected do to him? with something. Huh? Uh, I didn't know that. Uh, Wesker's not okay. Uh, Wesker is a damaged bean. Uh, bean. He needs I don't think uh, you want to refer to Albert Wesker as a bean. Oh, how your brother will to see Man you needs die. help. <laughs> By the way, for anyone interested in what? DVD, he is coming what to is the game Tuesday. Stay there. I'm excited because he looks cool. Ow! 
It appears you may be of some further use to me. I'm going to let you live a little longer. I'm going to ask Kobe about that later. Is he going to tell me? Probably not. It's probably something you find out from the game. Yeah, because I know by the time you get to Resident Evil 5, he already has the... I think he has Ouroboros in particular, as far as a virus. That's what gives him superhuman strength. Unless he already had that. And I just didn't know until I started exploring these games. Could I ask you a favor? Yeah. Put me in the Sylveon chair. Oh, yeah. You want the Sylveon chair. Where are you on my list? Yeah. <laughs> You're somewhere on here. Matthew, there you are. Yeah. Whoop. Oh, nice. I'm in the trans rights chair. <laughs> uh, okay, so once you get to the courtyard, the dogs should be gone. Good cutscene coming up. Yeah, that was pretty good, all things considered. I mean, the voice acting's horrendous, but... Uh, anyway. You... Okay. My tolerance for bad voice acting yeah. is honestly so incredibly high because I played a little ditty called Grand Chase. Oh. <laughs> uh, do you, you know what game I'm talking about, at least in general, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Have I demonstrated to you that game's voice acting? Uh, I have only heard in passing. Okay. So... <laughs> The Magic Knight sounds like his nose is plugged. Because, like, literally, you're going to think I'm exaggerating when I do this voice line, but this is basically exactly how he sounds. <laughs> Flame Buster! Oh, my God. Holy Blessing! Light of Rune! That's voice acting. And then, oh my god, his talking lines are especially bad, where it's like the intro to the dungeons and like after he wins. It's like, this is your limit. You would be best to remember the power of the magic sword. <laughs> it's my victory! Oh my god. This one... I obviously can't hear it because I'm doing it through a capture and there's no audio in capture. But yesterday I was picking on it so bad because there's a character in here, Steve. He gets on my fucking nerves. The best way I can describe is like Sonic Adventure era Sonic. Come on, you big drip. Where are you going? Yeah, like the guy literally says like, relax, beautiful. And it's like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Calm yourself, woman. <laughs> and then when the moment becomes, like, emotional because we find out why he's here and everything, he's like, FATHER! And then shoots his father who turned into a zombie, and I'm like, oh. FATHER! <laughs> it is I can't believe he's dead. His memory will live on in all of us. <laughs> The dialogue, too, was just like, my father, he worked for Umbrella, and my sister and my mother were here, too. My mother died, and it was like, oh my god! <laughs> Damn. I don't like shitting on voice acting too much, this because... The this the first draft of the script there, bud? <laughs> I know! Like, that's not even, like, it's not even, like, on the fault of the voice actors after a certain point. Oh, that's no. Bad scripting can ruin a good performance. And because this is early Capcom, yeah, yeah, it, the translation's probably a little busted there. But this what is definitely the era of Jill Sandwich. <laughs> what was the what was the DMC one where where it was Dante, and I think like Trish, like I don't know, a girl he liked, I guess, died. And he was like, I was supposed to be the one to fill your soul with light! Oh, yeah, I know which one you're talking about. Yeah. And I'm like, 
<laughs> video games. <laughs> video games. Wow. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna be right back. I need okay. to. <laughs> Just being on the island sanctuary reminds me of like silver. Like, I'm warping back to my cozy cabin. Oh, what? You afraid a monster's gonna aggro on you? <laughs> That was pretty funny. I don't know why it just it just that that really got you. It like shocked me how hard that got everyone in call. <laughs> Cause I was like, this isn't funny. <laughs> it's just your that... cadence is like, why? You afraid something's gonna aggro on you? On your special little private island, you goober. <laughs> Time to head back to the pre- Ah! I don't want to go back there. It's lame. Okay. I guess I'll go back to the private residence. All right, I'll be right back. I need to do laundry things. Up. Okay. No need for big weapons. Take your remaining bowgun arrows and handgun with ammo. Also, both ant objects. When heading back to the PR, there will be about six zombies in your way. After dealing with them in one way or another, head up the stairs. Oh, excuse me. Hello. Hello. We're playing Resident Evil. That game. Ah! Evil. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no big monsters on my way. You fucking lied to my dog ass video game. There's two! Ah! ah my go of me! <laughs> I got you by the head! <laughs> I love your hair, who does it? Fuck. Now I'm all hurty. God. Sick of this game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, dude. Get off of me! Get off, you desperate bitch. Zombies, a couple more up the stairs. Just get to Alexia's room. Uh, that, sh I, that should be easy enough. Thing in the 
that like a big statue or something? Uh, I guess? I'm not entirely sure. It looked like a big friggin' mutant like held up and it's like, look at my trophy. I eat Taco Bell now that I no longer have sore throat. Yay! We're past that phase. I'm angry because they don't have Cinnabon iced coffee delight. Give me my delights. I want to be delighted. <laughs> Spicy. <laughs> I am not the fuck on, dude! I am not delighted. Oh, you know what I've thought about? I've tried. Uh, I've thought about trying. What? The, uh, <laughs> churro shake at Sonic. They have a churro shake at Sonic? Yeah. That was like, I know it's not real churros. But I'm tempted to see what it tastes like. Because <laughs> it looks pretty good. I hear that zombie, and I'm afraid of going around another fucking corner and getting bit. <laughs> spicy okay I'm in Alexia's room now just go to the broken mirror and turn on the self-destruct use the queen ant object to open the music box okay uh, and take the music box plate okay now head to Alfred's room. I don't know where Alfred's room is. You act like I know where that is. Look up a whole separate thing just to find him his room. I mean, is, is his room up here? Is that what this is? No. Is it on the other end? Open it. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. And then place... It's been a while. I'm going to play Cyberpunk. Hell yeah. I need to continue so I can get to... Uh, get to uh, Mommy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, find the green herb and silver dragonfly. Okay. Definitely need that green herb. Since I ran out of ammunition. Surely hope the game gives me more ammunition. Well, there's the dragonfly. And there's the herb. Okay. Pull the wings off? I don't like that at all. Oh, it's a key. 
it's just a straight up living one and you're just holding it in your hands and it just says, pull the wings off. No! No! Uh, and stick it in the big ant case. Uh, oh! Stick it. Just stick it. Put, put it in mouth. What do you mean there's no use? Put it in the hole! <laughs> Put it in there! Okay, no. I couldn't hear the game for a second. <laughs> Paper clippings are on the small step ladder. Can I look at them? Can I? Ten-year-old girl genius graduated at the top of her class from a prestigious university. The international corporation Umbrella Chemical Incorporated offered her the position of head researcher. A ten-year-old? Completely forgotten that I I took a long ass break from this game because of Jackie. Oh uh, yeah. Like that that shit like fucked me up, man. What kind of fucking carousel is this? A creepy one. It's the carousel of nightmares. Uh, push the box over by the shelf. Oops. Oh, I guess I want that book there. Hold on. Grab the bullets from near the desk, push the box over by the shelf, uh, climb up, and get the Air Force proof. Okay. I'm gonna assume. Confession letter. Alexia, my sister, is a genius and possesses unmatched beauty. She has everything to me. I would overcome any obstacle and be willing to risk my life for her. For Alexia, I must revive the glorious Asher family, which fell during the era of my father, Alexander. Together we will restore our family name. Once that has been achieved, I'll build a palace where only nobles may gather. I cannot allow the unwashed to see my dear Alexia, to whom my life is devoted to. She reigns the world as queen, with I as her servant. That is my dream, and how sweet it will be. Those accomplish accomplishments, I can't read, will be the proof of my love toward Alexia. I really hope that this isn't towards the direction I think it is, because... Ew! <laughs> Ew! It is the purpose of my existence. All other people are meaningless, and they shall soon prostrate themselves before Alexia and I. Devoted to my beloved Alexia, Alfred Ashford. Uh, I wanna... I wanna wash my brain with soap. I'd already had a shower today, and I'm already like, I need another one. I won't be here anymore. I won't be here anymore. <laughs> I didn't read any of that. Head back down to the room, attempt to leave, and encounter another cutscene, okay? Larry. 
Redfield. Hold it right there. We meet each other at last. A pity I must say goodbye so soon. I am Alexia Ashford. For the pride of the Ashford family, I will kill you. For the pride of the uh, Ashford family, I will kill you. Okay. What's going oh, on? Oh dear. Are you okay? I'm fine. It's just a scratch. What the? This must be. What? <laughs> What just happened? So there never was an Alexia after all. You mean Wait. he thinks he's two people? Okay, that's it. Let's get out of here. The self-destruct system has that been freak. Activated. He's trying to blow us up along all with the entire facility. Come on, we gotta get to that airport. Right. No, don't apologize, Spicy. That was the dumbest shit. Like, <laughs> so there was no Alexia. <laughs> so he thinks that he's Alfred and Alexia. This is the most patient self-destruct system I've ever fucking seen in my life. Sounds like a really loud crow with a microphone for real for real.
Since you've played uh, Cyberpunk uh, before me, mm -hmm. and you've played a lot more than me, um, you advise me to just always wear the best of the best of my clothing, like in, in stats wise. Uh, honestly, yeah. Okay. Because trying to make it fashionable usually affects your stats too. So it's like, okay, I'm just gonna look stupid then. Yeah, I look pretty stupid. I've got like leather works workman's pants, some spiky boots. I mean, the boots aren't that bad. I, I kind of like them. A a button up pinstripe shirt, a Aristaco bulletproof vest, and a leather beanie with goggles on and some sunglasses on. It's not the worst, but I do look kind of stupid. That's was it that uh, she really liked. I can't remember. I'm gonna have to look it up. The self destruct system has been activated. All personnel evacuate immediately. Take your time, play. Just, just take your time. Rush. <laughs> Unless we race a bridge. Leave that to me. You stay here and make preparations for takeoff. Grab the lever, exit the plane. The self destruct system has been activated. How do I exit the plane? Discord did not like that. It was just like, oh! Ah! Ah! It's not even that loud of a noise either. That's an insulting thing. <laughs> it was just funny because you sounded like Carl Weezer who just kept having like a hand put over his mouth. Like, oh! Are 
y'all telling me that I had to have like certain uh, stats in order for Pan Am to really like me? I can't remember. It's been so long. I don't know. Can you go through the door? Oh, okay. I could tell one of them was an intelligence because that's a four out of everything else is fives and sixes. <laughs> Oh my god, for real, that's it. <laughs> Make sure to 
have enough. If you have them, it should only take three BOW gas rounds and one grenade round for this next fight. Ah! I guess that means I should preload this. How do I put my gun away? I accidentally pulled it out. That's not good. I don't want the cops to get pissed at me. <laughs> Head inside and up. five minutes until detonation. Oh, now I'm on a timer after all that time. Discord does not like you today. It's just like. <laughs> Accidentally pissed off the cops. Uh, once out, head back to the narrow bridge which had zombies. Laying down, I mean, he'll fall over onto his stomach. Okay. Okay, he's on his stomach. Goodbye. 
at that point, he won't be getting up again. By the way, yes, that countdown is how much time you have to get to the plane. Now head back to the plane. Uh. Your self-destruct system has been activated. All personnel evacuate immediately. Your self-destruct system has been activated. All personnel evacuate Okay, sorry, my mom came in. Back on the plane! I did it! It took you so long. I was starting to get worried. No time to explain. What do you mean, tyrant plane right. fight? We're out of here. Time to say goodbye to this death trap. Mean tyrant plane fight! No! He needs to go away! I don't want any of his biscuits! Hawaii is nice this time of year. You got it. bullets that just randomly appeared because he moved the tank. <laughs> Mad. This game is not over yet. Now you will see what real terror is all about. <laughs> this man is not right. <laughs> i 
shock alarm noise. I flashed back Cargo to patches open. Sonic Adventure 2. Intruder alert. Thanks. Intruder I've alert. Unlocked the cargo room door. <laughs> That would be the same time period, and this game was originally on the Dreamcast, so I wouldn't be surprised if that was just a recycled noise. It's not like anybody owns the noise, but still. <laughs> uh, that's definitely a game I think I'd definitely like to revisit is uh, Sonic games, so I have them for VODs, especially since I'm like a lot more comfortable now. Not now, because I have a long list of games I need to do anyway, and once we get to, like, Resident Evil 5, um, I'm gonna have to pretty much adjust my schedule to whenever, uh, Kobe's available to play it, so during the time I can't play with him, we'll be doing Kingdom Hearts. That'll be fun! <laughs> Back on the plane, good cutscene, long two. Once you hear the tyrant come on, it's your responsibility to kill it. Save if you have room and, or don't want to die and have to do it over. Grab the explosive arrows you have stored and some health items. Oh, I was supposed to store those? <laughs> well, alright. Uh, if you have less than 20, take another weapon with you. Can't I just take these? I mean, why not? I don't think I'm gonna want the knife. <laughs> Never did find out what that padlock key did. Oh. Uh, no, actually pick up the ones that were right there. See the console declares left. When you hear it beep, it's ready to be pushed. charges now, I see. died. 
Sometimes oh. this game. God today game. Oh my god, it's so tense. Oh my god. Oh my god. I better prepare myself. This is stupid. <laughs> Dumbest shit ever! Oh, oh no. Stop! Uh oh.
you off if you try to run past him. It's so stupid. anybody that wants to make a guide if you're gonna make a guide and you know that a weapon will make your life easier maybe make it more like I don't know more urgent that you need to hang on to that kind of shit because I didn't know I was supposed to be saving that explosive bow stuff Because if anything, uh, yes, this is an extremely annoying fight. My thing is purely the fact that the guide that I'm using that is pretty thoroughly detailed, in all honesty, to try and help you with this game, like, it missed that one little factor that you were supposed to kind of hold on to those arrows. But it's done, so now I kind of have to work with what I have. I can probably beat him just fine. It's just, I don't like how... This is not a game where you can get away very easily, so... Trying to get away from him before he sprints is a nightmare. And now I'm out playing. I'm not wholly mad. It was just... Thank <laughs> you. 
Is this better or worse than our RE3 remake? In what terms? Because this is like a substantially aged game, so that's kind of like a poor comparison. <laughs> He was mostly scripted. Yeah. Yeah. The thing with this game is, like, it has a good story. The problem with it is the voice acting is horrible, and I'm at my McFucking limit. You know what's so bad is I'm not mad at the game. I'm not mad at the game. I'm mad at the fucking guide. Ugh. You bring your bow, your explosive bow gun ammo. When did you mention that I needed that? You didn't. That's a fucking problem. <laughs> I'm back. What a thing to join back in on. If you make a thorough guide of a game please include don't use your fucking bow gun ammo it'll make your life easier for a later fight Stanley threw a grenade. That's not good. Hopefully cops aren't coming. I didn't kill anybody. Have a I call people. I gotta go back in the settings. <laughs> this game over. 
just so I can make this fight easier. There, I mean, surely you can still get through it with what you have. I believe so, yeah. If you cry, then Mappy will cry, it's true. Do a big old sob. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna do what Vinny- <laughs> what Milo did and cry into your butthole. Oh my god. Still one of my favorite pieces of art I've ever received. <laughs> Genuinely. Just fucking a drawing of Vinny eye-lasering tears into my butt. And <laughs> the fucking screamy face. What art is that? I don't think it was ever posted. Pause right before he vibe checks you. What's the name of the what's the name of this enemy? Yeah, it's Tyrant. Oh, it's Tyrant. Okay. <sighs> it takes five times of pressing it unless you cause some damage. Stand back from the monster and fire your explosive arrows at him. I don't have those, but thanks for mentioning that I need those the whole time. Try not to let him corner you and don't get too close to the end of the plane because he can push you out. Just do your best to dodge him, hurt him, and push the button for the crate whenever it's time. Saw a video of like this TikTok trend where it's like sing if you find the character attractive. And there's a version of it where it's a Resident Evil version. And I don't know any of the names or characters, so I can't tell you who the girl sings for. But all I know is that when Pyramid Head comes on screen, she screams into the microphone. As any Silent Hill fan does. Not for me. I just liked him as an antagonist. Yeah, I don't find him hot. That's not to say there aren't people who haven't been able to draw them hot. But, like... No. My fucking mind, huh? What do I do if I can't get past this fucking boss? I think you just need to keep on pegging him with explosives. I really, I really think you just kind of need to brute force it.
Oh, he's trailing blood on the... I'm gonna cry. I saw, I don't know if this was the right hint, but I saw blood dripping on the ground, and one of the guides I found was like, you'll know it's time to throw the catapult at him when he starts, like, stumbling when he walks, and blood starts dripping. So his animation changes. But I mean, also, like, I saw blood dripping off of him when I was looking at him before, so watch the ground for, like, blood trail, I guess, too. Like, maybe try not launching the catapult at him immediately. And just deal some damage until you start seeing blood dripping off him. Ow. Can I... Oh, he is dripping. I guess you also have to get him close enough to the edge where it's like he doesn't have time to break to throw on the brakes. Well, cause the that he barely went back because he was really close to the front, it seems like. So maybe you have to bait him to the edge of it as far as you can without getting knocked out of the plane. Yeah. I was about to say there has to be an easier way to do this. Like it seems like a big middle finger even for an older Capcom game for it to be, like, so stupid hard. So yeah, try getting into, like, the edge edge as, as best as you can I manage. Please turn. Claire! Yeah, 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 yeah. Like that, like that. Ah, damn it. But yeah, maybe he has to be he has to be limping more. Game controls like ass. <laughs> it seems like it does. This entertaining for y'all seeing me rage cuz I don't really like being like this. <laughs> I'm trying to keep it under wraps, but it is so infuriating. I get it. We could always pivot to something else if you want to keep on streaming. I could massage you. Go fly down to Florida, get my big slimy squire hands all up in there. I don't describe them as slimy. Up on your shoulders? <laughs> well, because they'll be covered in oil. Like nice body oils to help the massage be nice. Don't make it weird. <laughs> As if you're the one making this weird. Oh. You must be needing to drip more blood than that. No! Oh my fucking god. Please let Do we maybe need to take a break? Do you think that'd be a good idea? I don't think I can do this. I don't... I think my life would have been substantially easier had I had the explosive bow gun ammo. But the only way I'll be able to get that back is restarting... Like... I'm trying to do that. Almost six hours.
hours worth of gameplay with unskippable cutscenes. I think we need a break. Yeah, that'd be better for. What's a break gonna do? It, that's not my. That's not my issue. Because even if I take a break, it's still gonna be the same result of me getting mad because I don't have the firepower to beat him. Well, then, then we can switch to a different game. A game that brings you joy instead of despair. And maybe if you wanted to, you could play this, like, off-stream to get back where you were, make sure you have that ammo you need. Yeah. And then pick up from where you leave off here. That's what I did with Trails of Cold Steel. Yeah, because, like... Like, like I keep emphasizing, yes, the fight is stupid. How he can so easily cut you off. Because this game is not... It's just like, oh, just dodge it. It's like, you dodge it. <laughs> you... F <laughs> fucking Super Mario Maker, you fucking make it then, since you're so goddamn smart. Um... Yeah, I think I'm gonna do what what Matthew said and just kind of put a pin pin in this. I'm gonna restart the stream. Um, however, give me a bit to change the information. I think what was the next Resident Evil game that I needed to play? Where's game game stuff? Four. <laughs> I already played four. Yeah, okay, she's five. Uh, Revelations, and I do have that. So. Revelaciones. Um, for my YouTube watchers, we're putting a pin in this. I'm going to do this probably off stream, kind of take a total redo. So I have that explosive ammo when I come back to this, because it honestly doesn't take that long to get here. It's just because I got lost <laughs> at the time. So now that I know what I'm doing, and now that I know how crucial that bowgun ammo is, Give me, uh, just give me a little bit. We'll pro I'll probably make it a thing to where I come back to this, like, uh, the next weekend. Uh, cause surely by then I'll be fine. But, um, I'll probably do like what I did with Final Fantasy X, except better. Um, and see if that's exactly what I needed. And if it is, then just turn off the game and then we'll be back next weekend. Um, for my Twitch viewers, just give me a bit to restart my stream and set up Resident Evil Revelations. And for for my YouTube view viewers, that's going to be a really weird hang-off. So take this time to, to get some food and water, and we'll be back in a few minutes. I'm so sorry.